Father Nabil. And especially I would like to thank him for escorting me through all the churches in the Indiana Deanery of which he is the dean. And he is a fine dean. He makes sure that everybody is taken care of as a good dean should. I also want to thank the parish of St. George. Every time I come here, I feel, well, I know it is my home, but I feel at home because you make me feel that way. So I have the blessing of your presence with the blessing of Christ that I give to you through the ordination. God bless you. And I also want to thank Deacon James for serving and our guest priest who will be here this weekend, Father Sebastian, correct? And I met your wife, Michelle, and Killian, a good Catholic name. I also would like to thank the wonderful chanters, Salim and David and Catherine, who did a wonderful job, and also the subdeacons, Joseph and Anthony, and all of you. I want to say something about this day of the Saturday commemoration, where we remember the martyrs and those who have passed on from this life. I know you have a wonderful teacher in Father Nabil, but I would like to say a few things about the importance of this Saturday. Of course, it is patterned after when Jesus, on the blessed and holy Sabbath of Saturday, went into Hades himself. The priest always says, after making the great entrance, in the grave with the body, but in Hades with the soul, in paradise with the thief, and on the throne with the Father and the Spirit, with thou, O Christ, filling all things. Let me try to explain that a little bit because it's so dynamic and wonderful. It's the reason we're ordained. And it's why you are baptized and chrismated and received Holy Communion. Each one of us has our own person, an individual person. We were made, as it says in the book of Genesis, after the image and likeness of God. Stay with me now. The image and likeness of God is the Son of God. That's in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4, in case you want to look it up. Also in the first chapter of Hebrews and in verse 3, and in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 18. I just want to tell you that because I'm not just saying it. So we're made in the image of His Son. Now, we're separate in that sense. We're persons. We can love one another. We should and we must love one another. But we can't be in one another. But Jesus, being the divine person, who is me, created, now uncreated by God, He's the only begotten Son, we're created in His image. He matches all of our, he is the, the, the stamp that matches each one of our persons. Because he contains all of us in him since he made us. Therefore, he being God, dying on the cross and entering into Hades with his person in his soul, and raising up Adam and Eve and all the dead, thereby, since we're in Him and we're baptized into His death, we then rise again in His resurrection in His person. Because He can be in us. When you're baptized, you're baptized into His victory over death and Hades and that's when we celebrate Him today. All those martyrs who have passed away in Christ. All of our loved ones who we believe have passed away in Christ. In Him, 
They're raised already in their baptism. In their soul, they're vivified, energized, revived. The Energizer Bunny. That keeps going. That vivification and life is already given to the soul of the baptized. It's maintained, increased, and nourished by Holy Communion. So we're waiting for the second coming of Christ to raise the bodies too. But the soul already raised has to have a body adapted to eternity, and these aren't adapted yet. So they lay in the tomb until Christ comes with the last trumpet and raises them from the dead. But my main point is, He being a divine person can be in every one of us. So when He dies, He's life itself being God. Being life itself being God, He can raise us from the dead. Nobody else can do that. Well, I may have confused you. That's three years of seminary study in 15 minutes. Is that 15 minutes or 10 minutes? Okay, I, I, I wanted just to tell you how glorious that is for Christ in this life. In the grave with the body, but in Hades with the soul, with all of us. It's a great thing. It's the greatest thing. I'll never get ever tired again of seeing that. I'm going to keep working on it to say it better next time I come. If I repeat it, I hope you don't say, well, you already said that, your grace. <laughs> we have to keep seeing that. It, so, you know, we're not a religion as such that way. We're a recreation. We're another chance. We are saved forever. In Him. I was going to talk about a saint's story, but then I gave theology today. Think about that. That's our hope. Nobody's lost. No image is lost. God didn't make it and say, where is it? Where is it? Where is she? He knows where we are. All right. Father, do you have announcements to make? Well, it's so wonderful to have you here, Uh Great joy to be together. And we'll break bread together downstairs. Everybody's invited. No charge. If you um, are able to contribute, a free basket uh, will be there to help defray the, the cost of the meal. But just a time to celebrate this fast free Friday together with our bishop. Fast and free. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sayyid, uh, I think we uh, take some questions and talk a little bit about the second coming. Always uh, a topic of uh, interest. I would, before we go down, I would draw your attention to the icon um, right, there. right above us here in the center, and where we put the full verse inscription there, the ascension. The angels declared to the apostles, this Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Acts 1, 11. So, we'll give away any of Satan's thunder. Father, do you want me to do that downstairs? I think it'd be easier downstairs. All right. Could you all hear me without the microphone? And was I going at a good pace? Not too fast. My mom wouldn't be happy. 